What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of our football... No, sorry. Of our My Player Save here on Beef 17. Sorry. I was about to say Football Manager. Um, I've just recorded Football Manager, so that's pretty much why. But anyways, we're back today, guys. Of course, we're going to be checking out some stuff to do with our new club here at PSG. What I will say is we're not playing the first game, and that is down to the fact that I'm currently very low on fitness. So we will have to sim this first game here against Toulouse. But uh, still, you know, we, uh, we weren't probably fully fit to play this. I could have done, but I would have started on like 70% of my fitness, which isn't fantastic. Monaco taking the lead against Nice. So, of course, we need to make sure we win our game as well because Monaco are the team sat just below us in second place. We take the lead here, though. Augustin with the goal, and they equalised, but we scored pretty much straight after that one to make it 2-1. Um, so even when we're not playing, there's another striker coming in and uh, scoring the goals. Manolas has been sent off here for us as well, so he's picked up a red card, but Carrasco has added a third, so we will get the three points from the first game of today's episode. And even better, Nice have beaten Monaco in Monaco. So and that is, uh, is also a good sign to see as well. It means we move slightly ahead of... Oh, slightly ahead of, that's not even a word, slightly more ahead in terms of our league positioning. That's what I'm about to say. So, um, yeah, uh, since we've come to PSG, guys, a lot of you, I noticed some comments in the last episode. Some of you saying we should have ended the season off with Arsenal. Some of you saying that you're happy we've moved. Honestly, if we'd have stayed at Arsenal, the chances of our game time would have been quite slim. Of course, we weren't getting played in many of the games. Also, regarding our kit number, a lot of you just asked me to keep number 10 or possibly switch to number 11. So uh, I'm actually going to keep number 10. I just feel like... There's no point changing. As a lot of you pointed out, there was actually nobody with this kit number already in the team. So it makes sense to just keep it anyway. We're not taking it off anyone at that stage then. And of course, we will just be able to uh, carry on as if nothing has um, basically happened, really. Um, so yeah, today's episode, though, I do want to grab ourselves our first goal. It is going to be important that we do that. I mean, we didn't really play very well last time. But we do have the opportunity to get some goals here in this episode. And we start it off with a cup game against Olympic Marseille. And it's going to be very interesting, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into game number one, grab ourselves a goal. And then from there on, we're going to hit a hat trick in the next game afterwards, I believe. That is the team on the screen. For some reason, Rabiot is playing centre-back. I'm not even going to question it, guys. Anyway, so there you go. That's our team. We'll check out Marseille's once we are in-game. All right, so we are into game number one of today's episode. We are going to take a look now at the Marseille lineup that they've currently got. That is their team. I've got to be honest with you, don't really recognise many of the players. Is that Ruben Neves at left back for them? Actually, guys, some massive news out of the championship. I don't know if you saw it yesterday. Ruben Neves have signed for Wolves. Wolverhampton Wanderers, a club record and apparently a league record fee as well. Ruben Neves from FC Porto has joined on a five-year deal to go and play his football for Wolves in the championship. That is mind-blowing. He had Juventus looking at him, he had some big clubs around the world looking at him, and instead he's chosen to go and play his football in the championship. I hope for his sake, and I hope to see him uh, grow in the future, of course, so hopefully for his sake, that move will pay off and not basically kind of destroy his career in effect. But I don't know, it's a great move for Wolverhampton Wanderers. I think they've got a fantastic player on their hands, and I've not started this game off well at all as I'm rambling. Um, so yeah, good, good bit of business for Wolves. I'm hoping he's going to do quite well. He's stolen it back twice. I'm not going to get there again. Yeah, we are, we are, we are, we are. It's wide of the post. Are you joking me? I can't believe this game sometimes, guys. Like, I won the ball back, and it felt like my guy was running so slow to get through on the end of this ball there. And uh, all he's got to do is finish that off, and he just kind of hit it wide, didn't he? Brilliant. Great start. Got past that man there. Near post, curling one. Oh, my word, it's in. What a finish that is. Absolutely spectacular finish. That's our first goal in PSG colours, guys. We've got it in the cup. I was silent because, honestly, I didn't expect anything to come of this. We got down the left, right hand side, stop and turn back in. And then the angle was so tight at the end of this. How have we managed to curl that one in? And it's come off the inside of the post and it ends up going into the back of the net. Should the keeper be saving that one? Actually, it's gone just over his defender's head. So maybe if the defender had been a little bit taller, that probably wouldn't have gone in the back of the net. But there is the river dance as well. As we celebrate our first PSG goal, it's our first goal in France as well in this. But unfortunately, it's not come in the league yet. That is the cup, of course. We're still chasing our first league goal after two games. We'll see what we can do. I mean, I don't think it's going to be terrible. I think we will get it in this episode. But whether or not we can just grab one or possibly more, we'll have to wait and see. Again on the right-hand side. Running the channels pretty well at the moment. Curling inside again. Left foot curler. Off the woodwork and then off the post. That is the second time in this game alone we've hit the post. The first one came off the post and went in. The second one has come off the post and hit the woodwork again as it brushed the... Um, I mean, it hit the bar and then hit the post, sorry. As it brushed it on the way back down. 
Man, we could have been 2-0 up and it would have been pretty much like for like goals. What a strike again from us. And these curling efforts, I seem to be getting hang of them again. I'm liking this. Marseille corner whipped into the near post. Header one just over the top as well. Very, very close from Marseille there to finding an equalising goal in this game. And it would have been agonising if they'd have got it. One thing to note as well, guys. I saw an interesting comment in yesterday's episode. One of you put on there asking me to retire fairly soon because you guys want me to see me become a manager after this. And we won't have too much time to manage if we play right until like 36, 37, until the end of this game into FIFA 18. So I completely understand that. But leave a comment in this episode. Just let me know what kind of year you would be looking at me possibly to retire as we're in for two. And I should have passed it. Greedy. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, let me know in a comment. Let me know what kind of age we should possibly be playing to. I know a lot of you guys have left me in the past as well and told me, you know, play till 30, play till 29, play till 36. Um, just give me a general comment. Let me know. Because obviously I do want to try and turn this into like a management afterwards um, before we hit FIFA 18. But I don't know what kind of what age to do that at. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I mean... This game here against Marseille is still anybody's uh, game here as they're coming forward again, but a good tackle has stopped them in their tracks. But I don't know why we're having to play Rabiot at centre-back. In fact, I do. Suspension, isn't it, to Manalas? And that's exactly what I said when we came here in a squad report and saw we only had two centre-backs. It's, it's just stupid. Carrasco winning the flick on. And I've given it back to the Belgian now as he's going down the left-hand side. Still Carrasco on the ball. What's he going to do with it now, though? Carrasco goes inside to myself. Going to try and turn and hit this one. Left foot strike. Oh, he's off the woodwork again. Oh, my word. Another absolute screamer. And this one comes back off the woodwork. I just can't get it to drop into the goal at the moment here as Marseille come forward. How many times are we going to hit the woodwork in this episode? This is outrageous. We could have easily had a hat trick here, guys. And that one was the pick of the bunch. Remember, our long shots are like 97 or something crazy like that. So we have got the capability to strike them like that. So I just can't believe we've hit the bar from yet another effort. We are into the 90th minute now, guys. And as you can see, we are going to hold on to a 2-0 victory. Actually, we could have another chance for another one here. Whip that cross in nice and early. He has gone looking for me and I couldn't quite win the flick on. I was trying to flick it on to somebody else who there was. Uh, well, there was a man on the right hand side, but he... Doesn't, I don't think he would have got onto it, but we still got an opportunity here in the 90th minute. Never mind, it will be cleared away. And that is going to be the way that this game ends. So it was good. We got ourselves our first goal in PSG Colours. We also kind of assisted the second one, and we could have quite easily had a hat trick. We hit the bar quite a few times in this one. Let's have a look at another one at that strike from us. Quite a distance out, left footed strike. Oh, just unbelievably coming back off the crossbar. What's, uh, that would have been some goal if that had gone, and I can tell you that right now. However... Unfortunately, it didn't. The crossbar was the thing to stop us. So good performance, although it was only in the cup and we need to kind of grab our first league goal very soon as well because otherwise I kind of feel a little bit of pressure on myself moving forward in this series and I don't want to have that happen. So there you go. We're through to the quarterfinals of the uh, the French League Cup thing. Um, I'm not actually sure what it's called. I'll, I'll check it out, guys, for you guys. But yeah, so pretty much we're on track to have a very, very good six months here in our first kind of few months at PSG. Imagine if we can get a cup winner's medal and a league winner's medal in six months here at the club. It would be mind-blowing anyways. But EAG is the next team, guys. And of course, due to the fact we just played in that one there, I don't think I would be picked. I mean, I'm not picked for it. So uh, let's take a look actually at our fitness. There you go. In fact, we could have played this one. We're on 88 Energy. We could have played it. Um, but the managers decided to drop us for this one and uh, let somebody else have a chance. So Aurier and Manolas are the two centre-backs. Like I said, uh, we're having to play makeshift centre-backs at the moment. Augustine comes in for myself here as AEAG are going to be a difficult team to beat. Um, on the left-hand side, they've got uh, Vertu, actually. I don't know if that's the same one as the one who actually plays for Villa. As uh, Caglia Caligari has given us the lead here. And then they've equalised in the 48th minute. And uh, it looks as if we're probably going to get a point or maybe even less from this one. I don't like simming away games. They're not nice to sim. We did get a point. Okay, so it wasn't as bad as it could have been. But away games when you sim it in this game are just terrible, honestly. So looks as if we're not even going to play a league game in today's episode because we are going to be playing against uh, Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League. So very interesting game, this one, because I haven't played much Champions League football in terms of... Uh, what? Hang on a minute, guys. I am sure that just said critical of performance. I've played four games. What is wrong with you? Are you actually being serious? Look, I, I haven't played four. I've played three games. Three games with a match rating of 7.5. How? I have the same match rating as Carrasco. 
How is this fair? That's outrageous. The manager's already attacking us. We played three games at the club and he's already off on one. This is utterly stupid. I'm going to slap this manager later on. Okay, guys. So we are going to go into this game now. It's the home leg first against Dortmund here. As you can see, that is a team on the screen. So yeah, like I said earlier, the question from today's video is going to be what age should we look to retire at and become a manager in this series? Let me know in the comments below. I will read all your comments as I always do. And of course, guys, thank you so much as well for the incredible support on the last episode of the My Player Career Mode. It reached something crazy. I do believe it actually ended up, at the time of me recording this, it is 190 like ratings, which is absolutely phenomenal. So thank you all so much for that. Give yourselves a pat on the back if you will. Also, tonight, guys, there is going to be a double upload, potentially a triple upload for you guys. I don't actually know whether or not we're going to have a triple upload or a double. It's definitely going to be a double, but we might actually have a triple as well. So make sure you guys are staying tuned on the channel for that one because I am looking at doing a triple upload for you today if I can get all the videos out and done. Um, but also with the hot weather and stuff, get yourselves outside, enjoy the weather. And of course, these videos will be remaining on YouTube anyway even if you're not here for the 6 o'clock and the 4 o'clock uh, times that they come out. So they will always be here anyway, guys. That is the Dortmund team on your screen. There are some very, very good players in there. Still, they have managed to keep hold of Ousmane Dembele still at the moment. So that's surprising. He normally leaves the club at this stage, but he's still there. And he's still playing in Dortmund colours as we are underway at the Park de Princes. So our second game playing game of today's episode. We haven't played a league game today, but we did get our first PSG goal. So that's also good. Here is Roda for Dortmund, gives it back to Nuri Sahin, who's in the penalty area. Sahin strike is blocked. It's been all Dortmund in this first 10 minutes of the game, guys. And they've basically kept it since the first whistle. Roda back on this right-hand side. He's turning around from his man. He gives it back to Ousmane Dembele. Dembele still on the right now, goes past a couple of players. And he's got a chance to whip across in here, Dembele. Gone a long way, still Dembele. Fantastic run. Another great block from us. Denies Dortmund yet another opportunity. The strike from distance, straight into the hands of our goalkeeper, Dortmund have not let up in this first 15 minutes. They have controlled all of the play so far. We haven't had a chance to get out of our half just yet. I'm hoping this improves because otherwise we could be in for a really bad game today. Great ball. Chance to run it on one-on-one. -on -one. Little play it through. Oh, man, if that had gone through, we were in for surely 1-0 there. I just I had to squeeze that through. I just needed to get that ball past that defender. And unfortunately, he stood firm. We couldn't get it around him. I maybe should have played an over-the-top through ball rather than just a normal one. And then we may have got the chance as Carrasco there will win it back. And now he gives me the chance to stretch my legs and run at this Dortmund defence. Pass one I go and still into the penalty area. Go right foot strike. It's 1-0. We've got the only goal of the game and it has come again for us. 29 minutes on the clock. I spoke about my right foot being absolutely shocking. However, it has worked with dividends for us here. And we have managed to find the only goal of the game. And the defender there, honestly, he ran the wrong way. And that allowed us a little bit of time to get past him, knock it around him. And we could then just about pick our spot and get it squeezed past the goalkeeper. It wasn't right in the corner, in all honesty. Maybe should be doing better with that one. I'm not going to complain, though, because it does give us another goal in PSG colours. That is now our second goal of today's episode. And it's our second goal of our PSG career so far. And it's come in a very important game against Dortmund. Fantastic. Good win back. Carrasco made the run. Is he onside? Yes, he is. Carrasco is still onside. He's got to get past it. He's defended. A strike early on. And what a finish that is. Carrasco with an absolutely beautiful finish to make it PSG 2, Dortmund 0. I have to give him credit because, honestly, I was surprised to see him hit this as early as he did. He got ahead of his defender and he had to make sure he stayed ahead. Otherwise, he would be in serious bother. And then... And a lovely, lovely outside of the foot shot. You'll see it from this angle uh, in a moment better, the other one that we see here. In off the inside of that post as it goes into the other side of the net. Outside of the boot, strike goalwards. Oh man, what a finish that is from Carrasco. It's 2-0 PSG, guys. And this first leg against Dortmund has gone completely to plan. We didn't start off brilliantly. They did control a lot of the play early on. But we got the empty goal and then Carrasco has just added what could be a very important second to the mix here as well. Nice win back. Rabio through to myself here. Got on the edge of the area and still on the edge of the area. Strike coming in. It's three. We've hit a third goal in the game. The defender stood there tall. He just didn't actually make the block. I don't understand it completely. It's our 30th goal from outside the box. And honestly, guys, it, these kind of leagues when we play in them are pretty, pretty interesting. Like Dortmund, they were tough when we played in the Bundesliga. But today, we've battered them. I don't know what it is. Straight through the legs of Mark Baratra. Got to do better than that defensively, and that is probably what beats the goalkeeper. We've hit a third for us here. It is PSG 3, Dortmund 0, and that should send us through to the next round of the UEFA Champions League. I'm very, very happy 
to say that we've battered them here. I don't understand really how we had such a poor start and yet we've gone on to absolutely demolish Dortmund. They've crumbled, but we don't really want to give an away goal away. That's one thing I don't want to have happen. So if the boys can tighten up now, that'll be fantastic. Carrasco making a great run down the right. Doesn't find him with the pass, but we still got hold of the ball. Rabio to myself. I've got nobody on the left because Carrasco did make the run down the right. However, our left back in Kazawa has made that run there. Let's do something with it now, Kazawa. What are you going to do with it? Never mind. Just dribbles it straight out of play and gives it as a, as a free tackle effectively to Mark Bartra. But good performance from the lads. Usmane Dembele brought down in the area. It is going to be a penalty kick to Dortmund. As I said, do not give an away goal away. He goes and does that. Who is it actually? It's Ken Bembe who makes the foul. Um, he is a skipper as well on the day. A poor tackle from him. I mean, Usmane Dembele was in behind, but honestly, he was in an angle where it's going to be very difficult to score. So, making a challenge wasn't a necessity from Kim Bembe, but he chose to do it anyways, and it will be Usmane Dembele to take the spot kick here for Dortmund. Starts his run-up, Dembele sends our goalkeeper the wrong way, and it is Dortmund 1, PSG 3. They did get the away goal that I was talking about. It's not fantastic, but we'll have to deal with it, I'm afraid. Started it quite a few times there on his run-up, Dembele. And it wasn't the cleanest of strikes. It wasn't completely in the corner. But the keeper didn't even guess the right way in the first place. So it doesn't matter how clean the strike is if the keeper doesn't go the right way. It's 3-1 here, guys. And that is an away goal now for Dortmund. We've got a minute left of the game, guys. Can we get a fourth? Or are we just going to hold on to a 3-1 win? And it still will be a good 3-1 win if we can hold on to it. Not what I wanted to do. Giving the ball away cheaply there. Mario Götze now coming away. Gives it to their number two. Um... Gives it all the way back to Mark Bartra. Bartra trying to flick one over the top. And it is won by Dortmund. Don't concede a second now, guys. Just hold on to this. Thank you. It's offside anyway. It doesn't matter. So, 90 minutes on the clock. We should be able to hold on to a 3-1 win. The away goal isn't brilliant. But we'll have to work with it. We'll go to the Sigdal Duna Park and look to basically shore up this win. Um, anyways, 3-1 win. First leg. I can't really say anything bad about it, to be fair. Also, two goals for myself. Can't complain about that either. Still chasing that first league goal, though. We've got three in cups today, so we've hit three goals, but we haven't scored a league goal yet for PSG. To be fair, we've only played two league games in the uh, in the time we've been here, so there is that as well, whereas we have played also two more games in the cup and the Champions League. So, good win there. That should uh, hopefully give us a nice advantage going into the second leg. If I show you our squad report before we end today's episode off, guys, I am going to play more games as well in the future episodes. It's just the heat right now is very, very hot and... Um, I'm sweating just sat here recording this episode. So kind of just want to go open a window. And that is the only reason why it frustrates me. I can't actually have windows open because my where I live, there's a road right next to it. There's people. It's just so loud and it would pick it up on the background uh, on background noise anyway. So that is how we end today's episode off. Four appearances, three goals, one assist on top of that. Happy to say we've improved a little bit. We're also 93 rated. Woo! We hit the 93 rated stage, guys. With an extra two onto long shots, making it 98. And an extra two onto shot power, making it 99. Although, I think our shot power was already at 99 before that. So, yeah, it's pretty good to see as well. So, question of today's video, guys. What age should we be looking to retire at? You know, when should we look to retire before we kind of take over as a manager in the world of football? Um, um, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, guys, if you have enjoyed today's episode, I would greatly appreciate a like rating. As always, thank you for your continued support on the channel. I really do appreciate everything you guys do for me and the channel, the likes, the subscriptions, the comments and everything. Leave your comments down below how, uh, how you're getting on in your uh, player career modes or career mode in general. I do like to read them as well and leave me any comments you wish to leave me, whether it be telling me about your cat, telling me about transfers, telling me about anything in the world. It's always cool to get to, uh, to read some of your guys' comments. So thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you all again with another video tonight at 6 p.m. UK time. There may even be a third one uploaded tonight as well, guys. So you have to wait and see for that one later on. Although that's it from me for now at 4 p.m. I'll catch you all later, guys. Adios.